Hey, this is James again. Uh, this video I'm going to show you uh, how to transfer between columns uh, and beams, so similar to what I showed last week with the curtain wall. So here, and I'm using Archicad 23 for this, so here I have two columns. Uh, one is just higher and angled. And if we use the pick up and inject, so if I pick up from this column and then inject into this one, then using the default, it will copy the height and make it vertical, etc. So if I undo this, and then use the inject again. But before I click, we have this little uh, um, palette, sort of, not palette, but uh, option that comes up. And if I click on this, I actually can see all of my element transfer sets. So here we actually have out of the box uh, some transfer sets that don't include, for example, it won't override the height and it won't override the angle, etc. So for example here, exclude size, so this is just one from the default uh, set. So if I use this one, so let me just pick up again and then inject, then it will change the shape and color, but you can see that it still keeps the height and the, uh, and the slant angle. So if I undo this, and even if I modify the top angle of this one, say to a 45, and use pick up, and then inject using the, and it remembers the last one, the last set that was used, and inject, you can see also that it doesn't transfer the end cuts. So this is one way. Uh, let's have a look at a different way. So I'm just gonna undo that. that. If I select this uh, column, and so it's a basic column, so it's just a single segment. But if I just switch to the multi-segment, which allows us to add uh, segments to it. And if I right click, I can go copy. So this is the same as what the curtain wall can do. So if I, I can copy a segment, so everything below will be copied. And then I go to my other column, open the properties, and I've already just switched to the multi-segment list and then right click and choose paste. And so all of the details below will update and not affect the overall um, geometry. <clears throat> I can still modify and go back to single segment. So this uh, doesn't affect and click OK. So this is just between uh, single columns. Have a look at the beam as well. So. Um, and in this example, I'm going to copy segments within the se within one uh, multi-segmented uh, beam. So with this beam, I'm going to open up the settings, go to segment, and here it's just uh, just made it multi-segmented to allow me to add segments. And I'm going to split this into three, and select the first. Um, Sorry, I'll select the first one and say this is just a fixed length and maybe it's only 300. Uh, maybe make it a bit longer, 500. And then, to, and then the last one I'll also make uh, 500 for example. So we'll go OK. And then if I go into edit and then one segment, I'm going to switch to be tapered. So therefore I get two dimensions and then I'm going to modify the height of one end just to be taller. So let's say it's 800. So therefore it's tapered. So if I want to get this on the other end, what I can do is pick up inside the edit mode and then use inject onto this segment. So as you can see, it's, it's literally duplicated it. But if I select this segment and open up the little pa uh, palette here, then between the start and the end, I actually can swap the values. So it will actually change what the start and end, it will just swap the, the two. So basically invert uh, the dimensions. So 
I'm going to undo those two things. So that's one way. So in edit mode, I can do the copy paste. I mean, the pick up and inject. But let's if I just exit edit mode and open up the uh, settings dialog. So I can do basically the same thing in the settings dialog. So the first segment, right click copy, and then the last segment, right click and paste. So it does the same thing. And then I can open this little uh, pop up, pop out, and then swap the values to then get uh, symmetrical uh, ends. Okay, so I showed a little bit more about the. Uh, so I could do this not just between uh, segments within the same beam, but if I had another beam, I can copy the settings from one segment into another one, either through the pick up and inject or. I can use the right click and uh, copy and paste between segments. So it works very similar to how the curtain wall uh, behaves. Okay, hope you learned something and thanks. So until next time, thank you.